Hello everyone, welcome to Arthur Aunt House. I am Kala Purnuri. In today's video, we will make river stones for ourselves which are not easily available for everyone nowadays. So first let's see the materials required. These are the river stones which you all know. Picking up these stones or sand from riverbed is strictly banned in accordance with environmental rules and regulations. So to contribute to nature, you can make these stones by yourself very easily. So what you are seeing here are not the river stones in fact made by me. Take some white putty powder that is white cement based powder which you get at any local hardware shop. Add acrylic color of what color of stone you are going to make. Now add water little by little and make it into your dough consistency. One thing to remember here is the color of the wet putty dough will be reduced to 50% once it becomes dry. Means if the color of the dough is dark gray, it becomes light gray once it becomes dry. So mix the color accordingly. You can keep adding wall putty powder or water till you get perfect consistency of the dough so that we will get the stones with natural finish. All these days I never tried using this wall putty powder thinking that it makes the place messy while making the dough. But trust me it is very easy to clean your hands, container and everything. Once you learn to make the dough perfectly, you can use it in making mini a decor. So don't miss my coming up videos to know how many ways we can use this wall putty powder. After finish making the dough, you can clean your hands once so that it will be easy to handle the dough while making the stones. Now knead the dough a little to avoid cracks while making the stones. Now the dough is ready, just give a shape of natural stone to the dough instead of keeping it in proper round shape. Either you smoothen the surface with your fingers or dab with a wet sponge for a better result. Once you make the shape, keep it for drying without disturbing it for at least 12 hours. Similarly, you can make more stones in different colors, different shapes and different sizes. Here I added Indian red and little black color to get brown color stones. To get this color I added black and little blue in wall putty powder. This is the color when the dough is wet and this is the color when it is dry. I hope you understand the difference. Similarly the dark brown one became light brown. You can add little more black color to get dark brown stones. You can smoothen the surface after the stones dried up also by using a sandpaper. You can avoid this if you smoothen the stones well when the dough is wet. So these are the stones what we made and we'll make them waterproof in two ways. Apply varnish on both sides of the stone. Here I am using decor matte finish varnish. If you don't want a glossy look, this is the best varnish. This is another option of varnish. Actually it is a polymer which is used for waterproofing. Here we are using it as varnish. Apply it on both sides of the stone. So this is the finish applied with polymer and this is the finish with varnish. You may notice polymer gave glossy finish. If we want to place them outdoors like in a garden, we have to make sure that they are 100% waterproof. So let's soak them in water for a few hours and check. After soaking them in water for 2 hours, let's see how they are. I feel both are looking the same. There is no change in surface finish. 
also you may notice there is no change in the color of water at some places there is a slight variation in color that means it needs two coats of varnish so you can use them outdoors without any doubt so this is how you can make these stones very easily in just two steps that is mixing water in wall putty and apply varnish i hope you enjoyed watching my video if you did please like share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get the notifications of my latest videos in my next video we'll see how to use these stones in a window garden till then keep watching thank you